Hi, I'm Ian Call, the Technical Director of the Indoor Air Quality Association, bringing you an IAQA tech tip on mold inspections. The goal of most mold inspections is to locate any mold growth. The best way to find indoor mold growth isn't by taking samples. It's by doing a thorough visual inspection. Look for any signs of moisture or staining. Spend extra time in areas that are known to have frequent problems. In a home, that may be the basement, crawl space, or attic. Pay attention to odors and periodically refresh your nose by stepping outside for a few moments. Give yourself enough time to be very thorough. You'll need to train your eye to look for small details that you may be accustomed to overlooking. The average person, for example, doesn't spend much time, say, looking up at the ceiling. Most initial mold inspections will limit the scope of work to readily visible areas. For example, most mold inspections will not include looking underneath carpeting or inside walls or in ductwork. Therefore, some mold inspectors will recommend air samples to help identify any mold that's hidden in these inaccessible areas. The theory is that the types and quantities of mold spores found may indicate a hidden problem. Even if air sampling is used for this purpose, it should only be viewed as a tool on the tool belt. The goal is to visually find the mold growth. The sampling results may help you focus your efforts on a particular room where you can do a more invasive inspection than the first time around. Once you find the mold growth, you'll want to identify the moisture problem that is the underlying cause and seek a resolution. It should now be clear that someone who just comes in and takes air samples isn't performing a true mold inspection. To learn more about performing mold inspections, the IAQA has online classes in the IAQA University. Visit the IAQA website for more information.